Hi, Dr. Dave here to go over 50 unwritten rules of pool etiquette in 10 categories. They deal with how to behave properly when playing. Don't lean against or sit on the table when not shooting. Don't put your full weight on the table or get up on the table. There is actually a real rule that requires at least one foot be touching the floor while shooting. Don't put food, drinks, or anything else on the table. Respect any house rules at the place where you play. If masse, jump shots, or phenolic tips are not allowed, don't use them during play or practice. And if a break cloth is required to prevent cloth wear, please use one. Don't dump balls from a tray onto the table. It is noisy and it marks up the cloth. Don't tap balls in the rack area to try to make them sit better. If everybody did this in different racking positions, it would be almost impossible to get a good rack. Don't slam balls on the table. Don't hit object balls directly with the cue. Chalk marks on the balls can lead to more frequent fling, also known as skid or kick. After a miscue, and with ball in hand, scrape off any chalk embedded in the cue ball. Don't slap balls around with the cue. This can cause dings in a wooden shaft. Don't slam the cue against the table or other people's cues. This can cause dings and scratches. Be aware of your surroundings and be careful handling your cue, especially when you're holding it horizontal. And don't be like Tom Cruise from the movie The Color of Money. You might take an eye out with that thing. Don't pull a cue off the wall next to a table while somebody is shooting. Don't put chalk on the rail face down. Chalk is abrasive and can scratch the rail. It makes a mess, and your opponent will expect it to be face up. Don't use excessive talc from a powder bottle or talc cone. You don't really need talc with an open bridge. And if you use a closed bridge in a human environment, use a billiard glove instead. Don't chalk over the table. This gets chalk debris on the cloth, which can affect a slow rolling ball. Chalk before your shot, but not after your shot when your opponent needs it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Don't leave chalk on the table if your opponent has their own, for example in a chalk holder. Try to always play under the official rules of pool, the WPA World Standardized Rules. Links to the WPA rules, various league system rules, and videos explaining basic rules and fouls can be found via the links in the video description. Don't make up your own rules and know the rules of the game. In other words, actually read the official rules of pool. Be clear what rules will be used before you begin play. And if playing under bar rules, clarify some of the things that vary from bar to bar and person to person. Is the table open after the break? Do I need to call pocketing a ball clean or not? Are caroms or kisses off the eight or an opponent ball okay? Are safeties allowed? Be sure to ask about anything you're not sure about before or during play. Be honest and call your own fouls if a referee is not available. I double hit that. Ball again. Politely point out any possible fouls before they occur and ask an impartial bystander to watch and or film shots that might result in a foul. Do you mind if I get somebody to watch that shot or can I film it? Oh, okay. With slow motion instant replay, it is usually clear if a foul was committed or not. Here, the 12 was clearly hit first. Dress appropriately. Wear a shirt with sleeves and proper shoes. And don't look like a fool with your pants on the ground. 
Pay attention to the game, making sure you can always see and hear your opponent. 14 in the side. 14 in the side. Don't look at your phone or wear earphones. And don't talk to friends while your opponent is shooting. Stay away from the table if you are not shooting. Control your anger and don't act it out or raise your voice or curse. Damn! That's bullshit! Don't be like Earl Strickland, except for the playing awesome part. Don't eat messy food while playing and keep your hands clean. What? I got ball in hand? Don't grab somebody else's cue by mistake. Oh, it's my shot? Oh, I got lucky. Oh, did I use your cue by accident? Man, that carbon fiber works good. Say play well or good luck before a match or game. Play well. Good luck, man. Say good match or good game or you played well or sorry I didn't give you a better game after a match or game. Be a gracious winner and don't be a sore loser. Well, good game. You played well on that one. Damn right I did, you loser. You shouldn't have given me so many chances. You really stank up the place in that game. Thanks for playing. I got a little lucky on that layout. Damn right you got lucky. My grandma could have run that out. Don't offer advice or instruction unless it is welcome, especially when your opponent is about to shoot. How'd I miss that? Well, you must not have watched my Got English video, because you obviously didn't compensate for squirt on that shot. Hey, didn't I tell you not to tell me how to play the game? You about to get a thumb broke. When you miss, move away from the table. Oh, damn. And if your opponent is slow to move away, for example, if they are disappointed after a hurtful miss, give them time. Sharking is the practice of distracting or irritating your opponent in an attempt to gain an advantage. Don't do this. Sit or stand away from the table when your opponent is shooting. Avoid being in the line of sight of the shooter, and if you are, be still and quiet. Can you be still during my shot, please? Appreciate it. Thanks. <coughs> don't attempt to bully or intimidate your opponent, and don't be passive-aggressive or try to play mind games. Do you have to be so slow? I can make that with my eyes closed. Jeez. Don't play ridiculously slow or stall on purpose just to attempt to irritate your opponent, especially when the shot is easy. This just makes you look like a fool. Don't take excessive or well-timed bathroom breaks. Time out, dude. I can't wait, man. I need to go to the bathroom. All right? Excuse me. All right, go ahead. All right, you can shoot now, but let me get out of your way. Let me get out of your way. Don't break down your cue during your opponent's expected final inning unless you are forfeiting. Don't start getting out of your chair during your opponent's last shot. There, I let my opponent's shock move work. When I was distracted, I should have gotten up, asked my opponent to sit, and restarted my pre-shot routine. As with any sport, have good sportsmanship, honesty, politeness, fairness, and respect. And like always, treat others how you would like to be treated. Be aware and respectful of play on adjacent tables, always checking for clearance and whether or not somebody is about to shoot. If walking past other tables while somebody is about to shoot, something you should try to avoid, don't abruptly stop in place. Instead, keep walking by quietly with as little disruption as possible. Here are some final etiquette guidelines. Always play your best and try to keep a good attitude even when you are losing. Be respectful of all equipment and your surroundings as if you were on your best behavior at home. Treat women with respect. Don't assume they don't know how to play. Don't offer advice unless it is welcomed. And don't make unwanted passes at them. Leave everything the way you found it. Cues on the wall, chalk on the table, rack in the right place, 
and the mechanical bridge where it belongs. Pick up after yourself and don't leave trash behind. Most importantly, have fun and enjoy the competition. That's what pool is all about. Good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.